Hello, everyone. We are in Austin for South by Southwest, and we're doing some interviews. Thanks to Commissario Tequila right now. We have to thank them because it's a challenge and it's expensive to come to festivals. And this gives us the opportunity to talk about movies like The Day Shall Come. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Welcome. First off, because I feel like you could read a brief synopsis about the movie and not really get the full gist of what you're diving into. So can you give a brief description of what this movie is about and also who you're playing in it? Sure. Yes. Uh, so I, Marshawn Davis, am playing Moses, who is a self-proclaimed street prophet who is trying to lead his uh, mission um, and is trying to save the farm from being, uh, he's trying to save the farm. From getting evicted, really. From getting he's evicted, to, yeah, yeah. He's, he's being evicted, and so he finds an unlikely ally in the FBI, uh, which leads him into uh, some circumstances that he did not expect. And this is based on true <laughs> occurrences, right? Yeah. Well, hey, y'all. I'm Danielle Brooks. I play Venus, who is Moses' wife in the film. And basically, she's his rock, his the one that is basically his moral compass um, and trying to make sure that they don't get evicted too. Um, but anyway, uh, this movie is really about survival, mm -hmm. um, I think. And, and it is based off roughly based off other stories. You know, Chris had Chris Morris, our director has seen or um, an article uh, that really struck him about uh, these like construction Haitian workers that had been um, tricked into this whole corrupt investigation thing with the FBI and basically had to spend 25 years in prison. Yeah. And because of that, um, he was so intrigued by that story um, that he decided to write his own story. Yeah. So it, it definitely is based off, um, you know, stories it's, that have happened. Yeah, I think Chris likes to say it's based off 100 true stories. And I think there that's that's, that's like facts because he's he interviewed so many people, some of which we got to meet um, to sort of bring together this tapestry of a story that you'll see. Why was it important for you guys to sign on to this? What was it that drew you to the project? Because one of the things that I appreciate about the movies that I'm covering at South by, and you know, something like this in particular is seeing things on the big screen gives people access to stories and other people's experiences that they might not be aware about. Uh, for me, it was really Chris Morris because I didn't know what I was doing, to be <laughs> honest. We barely got the script. I, I kind of didn't even get the script until after I had gotten the part. So I didn't know what I was stepping into, and I had to fully put my trust in him. But knowing that you know he was very respected in this business, mm -hmm. he had won a BAFTA for Four Lions, I was like, okay, I'm gonna rock with him. And after I met him, I was like, oh yeah, I, I like his style and how he talks and works with actors. And I was like, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So I'm it was so him. curious, how did that happen then? Do you have an agent or a manager who says, you know, this person wants to work with you, yeah. either say yes or no, and that's it? Um, yeah, it was this, you know, the uh, casting director had reached out, was looking for someone like myself, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you have a conversation with your agent about what the project potentially could be. But I really had no idea what this was going to be. Um, and I had to go in kind of blinded, but really holding my hand out because I trusted Chris. And one of the most exciting things, I mean, as an actor, to be able to like go into an audition and not have to think about the lines. You just get to go in and <laughs> yeah. play. So I think I, Chris sort of like fostered that environment when we were on set um, a lot. So we, we, we didn't have much information to go off when we first got the script. But then I got the script after I, when people ask me, when did, what you felt about the, what I felt about the, the the film when I first saw it, and I didn't I didn't get the script until I got the job. <laughs> so and the script was forever changing yeah. once we actually got the script. <laughs> like yeah. it still was changing. We actually went back for reshoots and mm -hmm. everything. So. Oh yeah. wow! So what was it like going from the audition and not having the script to getting the script to then seeing the final film? <laughs> because you know I'm thinking about Four Lions, and that's that's actually another movie that I can't quite describe to someone. You need to see it to feel that vibe yeah. for yourself. So. Were you guys surprised about anything in the final film? Surprised? I, you know, I would say this, the one thing I love about Chris and his work is that like, it, especially with this project, it's like it started out as this like egg and then it turned into like this toddler and then we had like this young adult and then we have 
an adult, which you'll see tonight if you come to the premiere. Um, it, it's like ever morphing, ever changing. And I think when the audience sees it, it they'll add on a, a new aspect that we didn't see before. Is there anything in particular that you two took from this story or just this experience making the movie? Because I'm, I'm sure there's a variety of responses someone could have, but for personally, what did you guys take from this? Um, that comedies can have consequences. Hmm. Um, that yes, uh, you can, yes, it, it, I don't think it's trying to make fun of the FBI, but I think it is poking fun at injustice. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't, I didn't think I could laugh at it before. And then I, I watched it. I'm like, oh shucks, that is that that is actually funny. The mechanism in which uh, some of these people are like uh, prosecuted, it's it's ridiculous. Um, before we wrap up, a couple of rapid fired questions for you. Harmless questions, good fun. What TV show would you most like to guest star on? What TV show would I? <laughs> we like this is supposed to be rapid fire. We're like uh. Uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Good choice. Come on, Dayo. But you sang a song, so you get a pass. What movie do you quote the most? This is your queen to be. Oh, coming to America. Probably like um, uh, color purple or something. That's because you did it. <laughs> but no, like I mean, even if I didn't do it, yeah. it was like you told Hoppo to be me. <laughs> I don't know. What is the worst job you ever had? Uh, working at a restaurant. I hated working at a restaurant. Worked I was at bad a, at it. I worked at a, 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 a experience called Sleep No More. Uh, <laughs> yes. I That's your sleep worst no job. More. <laughs> yes. Somebody. I, I don't even want to get okay. into it. Oh, I got stories about Sleep No <laughs> yeah, More. Yeah, I got plenty. What is the background photo on your phones? Me. <laughs> Me? 20 pounds <laughs> lighter. Oh. <laughs> You need motivation. <laughs> it's just all it is. Mm. <laughs> Mine is me of. Why you like that's a depressing. No, thing? it's not. It's not it's depressing. depressing. It's, it's a, beautiful. It's uh, inspiring if that's what's important to you. You got a lot of pictures of you. You guys should not have said that. Anyway. Um, mine is a picture of a dog called Limpy that I, my friend Carrie fed when I taught in Guatemala. Aww. Yeah, she brought him back to life. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. Um, sweet. Do you guys collect anything? Pictures. I love pictures. And not like Instagram pictures, but like actual pictures. We just left another place and we got to take Polaroids and we're like, it is so much fun. I love mm. pictures. Children's books. Really? A little weird, but I love children's <laughs> books. <laughs> you ain't Michael Jackson. Right? <laughs> Come oh, on no. out. No, th you know, there's just some that have such great messages. Uh, yeah. Like, you know, the monster at the end of this book, the one with Grover? You don't know it because clearly you're like looking at me like, huh? Um. Maybe I think I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite is, um, Are You My Mother? It's my favorite one. I remember that one. Yeah. My favorite one is when the bird is looking for his mom and he goes to like a construction truck and he goes to like a dog. He goes to everything and he finally finds his mom at the end. Of the it's really cute. It's really sweet and inspiring no, and it sweet. sends good messages. And that's the way we have to wrap this up. On a high note, the day shall come. Keep an eye out for it. Thank you guys so much for your time today. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you so much to our wonderful sponsors for letting us be here today. Like and share this interview, and we will see you soon with more South by Southwest interviews.